Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. We are on greens number three. Um, this is honestly probably my favorite section of green inks and honestly I think I have the most bottles of green in this shade <laughs> um, and that is all of olive green so olive green is a mix of brown and green to me so some of these may lean a little bit more brown some a little bit more green and i wanted to include a mixture of both um but first let's get over supply supplies i have my hobonichi a5 notebook here with the original tomoe river paper i have a kakimori brass dip pen with the sakura wood handle a glass eyedropper a stainless steel condiment cup which was inspired by leanne likes and then I have a jar of water over there and then my old t-shirt that I've been using as an ink cloth slash rag in case there's any spills. If you see this tiny little blob right here in the middle, if you watched my first or no, second green inks exploration, you will know that one of the inks kind of bled into the crack on the paper and it actually ended up bleeding through several sheets. Um, I've never had that happen before, so I don't know if it's unique to that ink or maybe exactly where I got into the crevice was like perfect between the little folds of the paper. I don't know, but we're just going to leave it there. I don't really mind. This is my journal and it doesn't bother me one bit. So without further ado, let's get into our first sample. And our first sample is Sailor Shikiori Tokiwa Matsu. And I've said this in several videos before, I want a full bottle of this ink so badly, and I honestly will probably just go pick it up because I just keep talking about it so much. It is a gorgeous, dark, olivey color, and it has this beautiful red sheen to it. And that it is a sailor ink basically means that it is going to write very, very well, much like the pilot inks do in my experience. Also, since it is a sailor ink, you will notice that it has some of those cooler chroma shading sheening properties that a lot of their inks have and this one is no stranger to that as it is very interesting to look at the next ink i have is a full bottle actually of monteverde olivine and i actually inked this up in one of my previous currently inked videos i think it was june and i had it in a sailor pen i believe Regardless, this ink is beautiful and honestly, this is what a dark olive color is to me to a T. If you needed like something that was exactly olive toned, this is it. It's just a dark version of it. If you wanted something that's a little bit more light olive, we'll get there in a minute. In terms of Monteverde as a brand, I really love their inks. I think the price point they have for all of their inks is really great for the amount of ink you get in a bottle. This is a 30 ml bottle and I got it for a little over $10, which I think is fabulous. When it comes to the writing style of Monteverde inks, I find that they are very wet compared to some of the other brands, but just know that it depends on the pen that you're writing with or whatever you're using them for. I feel like some Monteverde inks are drier than others, similar to other brands that have different colors, they will behave a little bit differently. Next, we have Ferris Wool Press Peter Moss. And let me just say, this one is a gorgeous color. If you like any of the greens from Ferris Wool Press, much like I do, since I seem to have acquired quite a few of their green inks, you will know that this one is very much a dark olivey color, similar to the two I have already swatched on this page. You will notice that when Peter Moss dries down, it does have a little bit of unique shading to it, much like some of the other green Ferris Wool Press inks. I feel like Peter Moss is a really good brighter too. It's a nice dark green color, but it has a little bit of an olive tone to it. I really like journaling with this ink, and if you could find it in a full bottle, I would definitely pick it up. The next ink we have is a Pen Chalet exclusive, and it is Robert Oster's Saguaro Green. I talked about this one in my light green inks because it has very similar shading to another Robert Oster exclusive with Pen Chalet, which was Palo Verde. Palo Verde was basically every shade of green in one ink, which is really unique to me. But this one is such a beautiful olivey color. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit darker. It's everything in between that I would want in an olive color. I also talked about how the uh, Pen Chalet is located in the south midwest of the united states i believe arizona and that means that the saguaro cactus is located there as well 
And while I have never seen a saguaro cactus, I would assume they are probably this color just because it is such a fun color of green with it being a little bit kind of dusty looking. Like I said, olivey maybe is the best term here, but I feel like cactus doesn't always have the most bright green appearance just because they are in the desert and they are usually starved for a little bit of water. And I actually had somebody in the comments tell me that saguaro cactus only grow one of their arms every 75 years. So if you ever manage to stand next to one that has an arm, just know that it is much older than you are. <laughs> the next ink we have is a shimmer ink, and this is from the Diamine Green Ink Vent from 2022, and it is called Olive Swirl. Diamine classified this as one of their chameleon inks, and what that means is that the shimmer technically changes color as you turn the page. However, I never noticed it when I was writing with this ink. I haven't seen the shimmer necessarily change. It just looks like a standard rose gold shimmer to me, but maybe in this swatch today we will find out truth, whether it is a true chameleon ink or just a shimmer ink. I will say out of all of the olive colored inks we are swatching today, this one truly is the most olive colored to me, like the olives that you would get straight out of the fridge, Kalamata olives, whatever you want to call them. Olive swirl is olive. Saguaro green, also pretty olive, but a little bit more green le leaning. And the rest of the inks that I will be swatching may seem a little bit more brown olive, so let me know what you think, but I really think that Diamine Olive Swirl is the most olive color out of everything on the page. Moving on, we have Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon, and this one is very similar to the ink that I will swatch next, so if you needed a good dupe for this discontinued ink, I would say this is it. But Goose Poupon is this gorgeous kind of green, brown, olivey color. It's earthy, it's mm, chef's kiss, and... <laughs> As you can probably tell by the amount of bottles I have in this color, um, it is one of my favorites to write with. Like I said, Goose Poupon is a little bit closer to the neighbor that I'm about to swatch, and that is Pilot Iroshizuku Inaho. And unfortunately, Inaho has been discontinued. It is a favorite amongst the writers of the world in the fountain pen community in my opinion so maybe pilot will bring it back but as of right now i haven't seen any signs of that happening and while pilot iroshizuku inaho isn't necessarily olive colored i would say it's a little bit more light brown i did wanted to i did want to include it in this ink exploration just because it is super close to the goose poupon and if you wanted to get a ink that was very close to this ink this would like Goose Poupon would be the one to get in, in addition to Inaho if you could get both. But since Inaho has been discontinued, I would say that Goose Poupon would be your next best alternative. Continuing on with the more brown olives, I'm going to do Sailor Ink Studios 280. This one again is kind of green, kind of brown, and that's why I wanted to include it in the olive category. But depending on your preference, this may lean one way or the other. I personally think it's a little bit more green than brown and that's why I wanted to include it in the greens but depending on the way it shades down like I said it may be different for each individual. The second to last ink I have is another one that I would say is a good dupe for Inaho and this is Ferris Wheel Press Queen and Castle. This one is another shimmer ink and is honestly absolutely gorgeous when writing with just because of the rose gold shimmer and the earthy background that it has with the kind of olivey brown green. I really like this color and unfortunately I can't find it anymore so I won't be I'm not able to get a full bottle but I will definitely enjoy the sample that I do have while I still have it. And the last sample we have today is Ancient Charm number eight Song of Southern Country. And I got this on Vanessa a long time ago and cannot find any of this brand's ink anywhere else or anymore. They're not even on Vanessa anymore. And I'm, I'm sad because it is so beautiful and I would love to be able to get more of this ink. It is another shimmering ink, but I feel like this one is almost incomplete without the shimmer. I feel like it's not the same. So I wouldn't ever want to not shake this ink up. I would always want to have the shimmer when writing with this ink. But much like the other inks, it is a green olivey color, but it also has kind of a brown shade to it. 
I felt that it was perfect to include it in this ink exploration and it is a very unique brand obviously since I can't seem to find it anywhere else. All right, so I'm gonna let all of these inks dry down on the page and then I will come back in a minute and we will do close-ups of all of the dry swatches. So I will see you in a minute. All right, so we are now back. They are dried down. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and do some close-up. Starting off with that Sailor Shikiori Tokyo Matsu. You can just look at that ink and know I want a full bottle of it. <laughs> um, it's this beautiful dark olive color. Almost reminds me of like the TN olive leather and it has this gorgeous red black sheen to it and some shading. It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Then we have Monteverde Olivine. It is more standard. There's nothing super exciting except for that dark shade in the middle there. This ink is really divine to write with. It is a great journaling ink. I, I really do love it and that is why I have a full bottle of it. <laughs> Then we had Ferrisol Press Peter Moss. Again, this one's probably a little bit lighter than the Shikiori, but it doesn't have that red sheen. It just has a little black sheen to it. Still a very beautiful ink. Still has that like beautiful shade to it with the kind of like grayish black color in the middle. Almost blue, honestly, in person. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it definitely has beautiful shading and is a gorgeous color. Then we had Penchelle's exclusive Robert Oster ink, Saguaro Green. Really love the shading on this with that kind of dark gray, like olive brown color in the middle, and then the green olive on the outside. I think this really does embody what an olive ink should be and is a very unique ink in itself as well. Then we had Diamine's Olive Swirl, and actually for the first time, I can see why this is a chameleon ink. So you see how on camera it is flashing that kind of blue color? Well, in person, it's rose gold. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it to turn rose gold on the camera for you guys, but it is rose gold in person and blue on camera. So I guess now I understand why it's chameleon but it is very beautiful on camera compared to in person it just looks very flat with that rose gold color and on camera it's got this gorgeous teal shade to it amazing amazing moving on to the other side we have one of my favorites as well which is ferris will press goose poupon it is just more standard again a great journaling ink and it has this gorgeous dark shade to it it's like a grayish brown color again with that more olivey brown outside but still a little green compared to some of the others i really do like this ink as well then we had pilot Iroshi, pilot iroshizuku inaho unfortunately like i said this ink is discontinued but it is beautiful and there are kind of a couple of du dupes on this page not exactly the same but definitely close enough that you could get the same color family that you would want Next we had ink, Sailor Ink Studio 280. Just look at the shading on this ink. It is so beautiful. It has like a pink teal shade to it with that olivey green brown background. It's, it's a rainbow of colors, let's be honest. Still a gorgeous ink to have. If you wanted something that was a little bit more unique, I would say this would be the ink to pick because when you write with it, you may get a variety of colors, not just the color that you thought you were gonna get. Then we had Ferris Wool Press Queen and Castle. Again, look at that rose gold shimmer, absolutely beautiful. It has a very similar base to the Goose Poupon. So I think if they were to be close to each other, they're almost the same color. One just has shimmer and one does not. So if you're not a big fan of shimmer inks, the Goose Poupon may be a better choice. But if you like shimmer inks like I do, then the Queen and Castle would be the one to go with. Then lastly, we had Ancient Charms, Song of Southern Country. Look at the gold shimmer on this ink. I, I seriously wish I could find this ink in other places or find another sample of this one or even a bottle to get because it is so beautiful and I really can't find it anywhere. So if you know any recommendations, please leave it down in the comments for myself and anybody else who would be interested. All right, so this is all of our olive inks for our greens number three. I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely think this is my favorite out of all of the greens just because it's earthy and it fits my mood most of the time. <laughs> Let me know which one is your favorite in general. I personally still am a huge fan of Inaho, even though it's a little bit more brown. And second to that would probably be Goose Poupon. And then of course, as I've been saying, I really want a bottle of that Sailor Shikiri Tokiwa Matsu. It is so beautiful. But let me know what you think. 
If you're interested in more content from me, I do also have an Instagram. I will leave my handle on the screen. And if you're interested in the previous ink explorations I have done, I will leave it up in the cards as well as in the description. But for now, I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate your support and love you all. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.